Hi guys, Lizbeth here coming at you with the Kamari method for my papers. Uh, if you guys have been watching me or, or uh, I've been watching you join your papers, you'll know that this was an area I was not looking forward to. Uh, when I did papers, I didn't do things like cards or memorabilia or any of that kind of paper. This is strictly um, financials that we've kept, uh, credit card statements, bank statements, other miscellaneous stuff, uh, warranties, um, you know, instruction booklets, things that um, I probably never should have to begin with. But, you know, the memorabilia and the cards and stuff, and trust me, I have quite a bit, that's going to be at the end. Uh, it took me a really long time. I did my file drawers first. I have two file drawers. I have a file cabinet with two file drawers that were stuffed. I mean, stuffed to the point where you're trying to put the paper in and you couldn't get it all the way down, and so it came out of the file folder and leaned over the top. So I had those two. I had this box full of uh, checks. You know how you write a check? Well, some of you younger ones probably don't, but write a check and you have the copy of the check underneath it. Like, So I had this full. I had this full. I had, I'm sorry for bumping you guys, this full, 100% full of just checks I needed to shred. I had this full. I had this so full, my paper broke because it was, you know, the files were standing vertical in it. It wasn't horizontally full, it was vertically full and it broke. I had this full. Oh, this stuff. These things in here, these are just some of the file folders that I was able to weed out of my uh, two drawer file cabinet that I didn't need any longer. And this isn't even the whole stack. Some of them, these things were broken and I just threw them away at the time. I had this totally full. It's like three foot by a foot and a half. I'm going to get it in the frame here. I have another one of these in the basement where half of it was paperwork. And I'm talking about I had kept like all of my um, work stuff. My husband had all his work stuff. You know, it was crazy. The one nice thing is my husband did participate in this with me. Uh, you know, he hasn't been interested in going through his clothes or going through his books, but the paperwork, he did agree to let me get rid of a lot. Now, he did say like things like he wanted to keep, keep the retirement paperwork, so anything that had to do with retirement, I kept, and we'll go through that at a future date. Here's some of, let me show you some of the dates of the stuff I was working with. October 30th, 67. This is October 12th, 1968. This is how back, how far back some of our papers went. This is uh, from when my husband went to medical school. He had kept all his tests. And tests aren't like three or four pages in medical school. They're like 15 to 20. So that was a huge box. Now, we had... Between my husband and myself, we got married in 2000, but we had tax files back to 1995. But we decided just to keep, you know, the last seven years, which is all you're required. This bag here is all shred. More tax files, more just financials and stuff to shred. Why is this not shredded? My shredder died. I bought the shredder at the beginning of the year because my other shredder died at the end of last year. By the time I got done with this, now the motor runs great. I, you know, I made sure, I only overheated it once. So I made sure, you know, not to run it through everything. But the thing that feeds it will not, will not feed anymore. And I can't even, like, push the paper through. Like, if I hit the reverse, it'll reverse back out. But the thing to feed it through won't go. So there's 50 bucks that I'm going to have to replace because I had to finish shredding this. And then I figure once I get that done, which I'll be a little easier on the shredder this time, 
Uh, I'm just going to have like the current papers, like if a something comes through the mail, like for a credit card or whatever. So I won't be this horrendous, huge bunch, bunch of shredding. Okay, I'm shredding through this stuff. I hope this isn't too long for you guys. You zoom ahead to how many bags. But I'm shredding through this stuff. I'm getting way too many bags. Because the whole point is like, be an eco, saving the environment. That's why I want to recycle, you know, my papers and everything. And I'm looking at all these plastic garbage bags filling up and I'm like, how, you know, how good am I? I'm trying to get my computer to catch up with me. It's like, how good am I being if I'm just having all these plastic garbage bags? So I had already, you know, filled them up and switched them down. Well, then I went back and reopened them, even though they were full and, you know, kneeled on top of them to squish them down some more and got like three more bags or three more of the shredder buckets full in each one, you know, kneeling on it each time. So what is my total? I'm going to add one to the total because of this bag. So I have 16 of recycles, which include shred and non-shredded paper. And then the one uh, probably bag I've got left worth of um, recycle to do in the future. So I'm counting it as 17 bags of paper recycling. I am so over it. I can't even tell you how far so over it I am. And in the future, I'm thinking there shouldn't be anything because I plan on just doing it as it comes. Sorry about the rambling. This has been crazy. I estimate it took me over 30 solid hours over the course of, you know, a few weeks and everything of going through all the papers, seeing what it was, seeing what needed to be kept, seeing what needed to be thrown, seeing what needed to be shred. Gr guys, girls, guys, you guys, I'm frazzled. I'm so ready to move on to something else. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, subscribe, hit like, or whatever. Uh, just in sympathy that, wow, it was rough. So I hope your paper work thing, if you're doing this, doesn't take nearly as long. I hope your shredder stays good, and I'll talk with you later.